assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to another day with mariam if you're new to my channel press that subscribe button like comment and share today i am going to show you guys a famous sweet that's eaten throughout asia it's called kalo jam so i'm going to show you my way that's what i'm making for my children for dessert today so yes i thought i'll bring you bring you guys along with me and show you guys how i make my own kalo jam okay so I have here two cups of um, needle milk powder. Is this one? Two cups. I have one teaspoon of baking powder here. I have four tablespoons of flour, plain flour. I have two tablespoons of semolene. I think that's what it's called, semolene or some semolene. And another word in Bengali is called shuji. So first, and then I have, I think I have half a tablespoon of ghee here, but I'm not gonna add all of it. So I will just put maybe a third of it. And I have one cup of room temperature milk any milk you can use but fat milk i think is better but i don't have any and obviously you need to fry, fry um, put your oil into a pan any oil will do i'm using sunflower oil today so first what i'm going to do bismillah i'm going to add my baking powder my flour semolene I'm going to give that a good mix. Don't forget you also need red food coloring because that's what makes it kalo jam. It's called kalo jam in black jam. So it has, you have to put the red food color or you can put any food coloring you want. You can make it red, pink, green, blue, whatever you want. But the black one is the main one. So what I do, I put the red food coloring afterward. I'll show you guys. So yeah, today has been a very not boring day i'm just gonna prepare my lunch as well so i'm gonna bring you guys you guys are gonna hang around with me to see that as well um good that all of that a good mix now i'm going to put the ghee it's called butter ghee you can find that in anywhere tesco sainsbury's any shop so whole morning it's just been a bit boring I've um, cleaned up everything and then now obviously I'm going to make my lunch and I'm going to make this for the girls inshallah then I am going to clean the house and after that I'm going to go and pick up my children from school and then not to forget that I have to finish everything before two o'clock I'm going to add a little bit more of the, all of the ghee here because I forgot I put two cups of milk powder there. Give that a good mix around. There we go. Now I'm going to add the milk. bit by bit you don't want to add the milk too like too soon all together you gotta have the right consistency yeah so oh guys did you guys watch the football yesterday oh my god i was so upset i never watched it but i watched it yesterday but you know what i am proud they did proud they did us proud they actually they played really really well it was such a good game and you know within five minutes england scored one goal so it was really good but you know it's not if it's not meant to be then it's not meant to be but they played so well really really proud of them maybe next time it will be our turn you never know so if you guys enjoyed the football please comment below and tell me how you guys felt and what you guys thoughts on the football is i watched it with my daughters my two youngest ones I watched it with them. My 10 year old was upset. She said it's not fair. But they're only children. You know, what do you expect? 
but yeah so yeah so it was a bit sad but you know they played so well I'm so proud of them they did really really well I was actually screaming yesterday because um, yeah the football I'm like thinking, oh, they're gonna win they're gonna win and then obviously the second goal that will killed it but yeah guys it was really really fun and interesting to watch as you can see now mashallah the dough is done beautifully if the dough is too dry then you will see when you're trying to make it into the shape of the kalo jam um, it will have cracks so you just gotta like mix you want it to be sticky sticky like this so it sticks to your hand Ma. yes my love Ma. yes my love and now I am putting the red Ma. food Ma. color Ma. I like to put a bit quite a bit because I like the color like the red color that's what makes it nice you can put something called um, I think um, it's called what do you call that I forgot the name it's something that you make it's called Ma Maura or I forgot my mom uh, my mom knows what it's called what you do basically is you um, but I will show you that in another video well after this is done I'll show you how I garnish it because a lot of people use that but I like to put almond powder on top of it Just got to keep on giving a good mix, knead the dough properly. I could just eat them whole day. They are so delicious. If you, I'm sure all of you have tried. If you haven't tried, make it and try it. It's just the perfect sweet. It's fresh. You make it in the house. I don't like getting it from the shops because I don't know. Like sometimes I do get them sometimes, but then again, I always have this thing behind my back and I don't know how they made it or they clean because I am very. I'm a bit conscious about how they mix it. If it's not clean enough or, you know, I just give it. As you can see. As you can see, I'm supposed to be so I'm gonna wash my hand. I'll wash my hand now and then I will show you guys the next show you guys the next process how I'm gonna do them. So I have the oil already. So I'm going to get a little bit in my hand. I'm sorry, my lovey. Go away, go away, go away. Go away. Go away. You want mommy to go away? Go away, go away. As you can see, it's supposed go to be. Away. Go away, This is mommy. how it's meant to be. Go away, mommy. But you can make it to any size as you want. I'll show you another size. But don't forget, because if if you make it too big, so when you're frying it on the oil, it does extend, it does um, blow up, so you got to be careful, you don't want it to be too big. There you go. As you can see.
some you'll see will come out perfectly some you'll see won't come up so not to worry but make sure there's no cracks or anything or any bubbles or anything but if that, that happens then when you're frying it you will um, crack in the in the oil and the oil make sure it's not too hot if it's too hot if you if you think it's too hot just take it down to a or um, take it down to another hob that's not actually on and you can just cool it down to the right temperature and then fry them they are my favorite they are all once you put them in your mouth and they just melt it's just so delicious they are my favorite favorite color jams is very famous in Bangladesh in India Sri Lanka um, basically all of Asia and you can make them in so many different ways so many different colors so many different shapes you can also make that with milk um, <clears throat> it's called um, I will show you that down in the next video so if you want to know how to do that please comment and then Inshallah, I'll try to make. It's a bit dry. I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. Because once you see that it's gone dry, that you're not finding the consistency of like, if you see any cracks or anything, you can always add a little bit more milk. So, mommy, yes, mommy. yes, my love. You want to try one? We can. Okay. My time. My time. That's not to play with. Mommy already put color there, my love. Okay. And it's called mishti as well. In you know, there's another word for that. It's called mishti or kalo jam. You know, you can call it in any. Other. It's milk powder. You're tasting the milk powder, lovely. Oh my. Oh my. And then just press it there. Oh to my. make that beautiful shape. Oh my. Let's give it a nice. Mom. Yes, Mom. Yes. You want? Okay, my lovely. Okay, my love. Okay, my love. Shh, my baby, she wants to use Khadija. She wants to need you, Deja. What's your name? Are you Deja? You want? Okay, go on then. Take this part. Okay, you're gonna need it. Okay, keep on needing it like this. Look. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll in your hand. Good job. That's beautiful kneading, my love. Oh. We're in the process of potty training, my baby. So, Khadija, she's two. It's the two year old, like toddler type, you know, you the two year two is how they behave. She's going through that process now, so. She's two, but she acts like she's 60. She's the boss. She's my boss of the baby. She's the boss to everybody. And she's, because she's only young, she's the little one. She's very spoiled. My all good. You gotta have a little bit of a cheeky one in the house. Okay. As you can see, mashallah, I have um, rolled them up and now I'm going to fry them and I'll show you guys. That's the oil that I had there. Excuse the mess because I have to clean this. My foils are gone a bit dirty. So as I said, I have oiled that. So I'm going to put these in one by one. Bismillah rahman rahim
two, three are yours. You can make eight to twelve of them. It's up to you how many. How many you want to make? Oh. While they are frying, I'm going to show you how to make the syrup. You need a nice size, big size of pack. please can you hold this I show them how to make the syrup hold this no hold the camera so I can show them how to make the syrup the syrup okay it's very important for you to like turn them over As you can see, I'm just turning them over. You can fry it in a bit more oil, that's up to you. But I just put a little bit less today. But you have to fry them on a medium to slow heat. You need to keep your eye on. So I'm going to let them fry, and I'm going to now show you the second process of how to. Do the syrup, make the sugar syrup. I'm gonna add, because I put four cups of powder, I'm gonna put six. You need a big pan like this. When you're doing your, putting the um, mishtis, the kalo jam, the sweet in here, it expands. So you want it to have a nice space in there so they don't like, uh, what's it called, get squashed. So I put two, three, four, five, six. So I put six. I'm going to put a bit more. Put seven cups of water. And then I'm going to put Four cups of sugar in there. One. Two. It depends on how sweet you want it. It's up to you, basically. Well, I'm going to put three because I think I've run out of sugar as well. There we are. Three and a bit. It's fine. And I'm going to... Put three cardamom. Putting three cardamoms here. Let that boil. In the meantime, to keep an eye on the the color jumps. As you can see, mashallah, the frying. Sometimes you may get some cracked ones here and there, but never mind. Happens. You know, we all have a good day and bad day, so does the cooking and the whatever process that we're doing. As you can see now, my beautiful, beautiful people, that they are frying beautifully, mashallah. Let that fry. Mama. This is the the main key to this is if you um, Mama, fry it as a slow on a slow it. heat Mama. as longer and you will see they will get darker and darker. Obviously, the main reason you cook them on a slow heat because I so to make it. sure. Yes, okay, Mama. Mama. Shh. I did it. Okay. Mama. Yes, my love. I did it. Sorry, my daughter was, uh, my baby was um, 
Khadija here is disturbing you as usual. Um, yes, my love. Oh, you did it. Well done. Good job. So you don't want it to be raw inside. So that's why you may basically fry them on the oil on a small heat. Like a low heat for as long as possible. The reason that you need to cook that on a slow heat for as long as possible is because you don't want inside to be raw. You want it. You you want to know that it's cooked inside. So when you're opening it up and you're putting the syrup, you know that it's not raw or anything. So that's why basically you cook on a slow heat. It's best to cook like in in a lot of oil like oil on is like filled top to it but obviously I put it on this one because that one takes a bit of because it's a um, what's it called shallow sort of fry pan that's why it takes more oil but it's the right oil but obviously I put it there because I don't want them to like squish or sh get squashed together so I want them to have like breathe of air in there they can have their own space like how we all like our own space as you can see now the syrup is boiling I'm going to put slightly bit of lemon juice on there because what happens with the lemon juice it doesn't get um, the syrup doesn't stick to it it stays nice and liquidish the syrup stays nice and liquidish so that's why I put the lemon juice in there I'm going to give this a good stir I'll let that boil two to three boils and then I turn it off as you can see the color jam the jamun is actually getting nearly ready I'm gonna fry them for another like three to four minutes it just I just want that the darker they get the better Usually they actually rolls themselves, but obviously because of my oil, it's not, I didn't fill it up to the top, so that's why they're not rolling by themselves, they does turn themselves. They might look burnt, but they're not actually burnt. So now guys as you can see this is the consistency of the color that you want on your color jam. So I'm going to transfer them from the oil to the plate. I'm going to wait a few minutes, let them to just cool down a little bit and then I will transfer them into the syrup that I have already showed you guys earlier on.
as you can see now the syrup has boiled I'm going to put the kano jams transfer them into the syrup as you can see how beautifully they have been sorry it's a bit blurry I don't know why it's not focusing properly sorry as you can see now the hair I am going to cook them for about 20 minutes on a high heat with the lid on and then I'm going to slow the gas and then I'm going to cook that for another 15 minutes on a slow heat with the lid on and then put the lid on there and I'm going to cook that on high heat now as you can see I'm going to I took the lid off I'm just going to turn them around just keep an eye on just you just need to consistently come and keep an eye on to see how it's going They're doing some sort of work in my road and that's why it's so noisy guys. I'm so sorry about the noise. As you can see, um, it's still cooking so I'm going to slow the, uh, slow it down on a slow heat. So cook it for another 15 minutes. As you can see, I'm going to check them now. I'll show you guys. You want this sort of consistency, you'll see. As you can see now, guys, mashallah, it's looking very, very delicious. It's all done. I'm going to turn it off and let it cool down for an hour. After that, I will show you guys the final stage. My shapes are going to be funny today. don't know why. But yeah. you guys can see this is what it looks like turned it off and I'm going to leave that for an hour So guys, if you liked this recipe and if you have tried it and you um, you know you made it for yourself or how you found it, please do comment down below on the description box on the comment box, obviously. And um, yeah, so um, tag me on my social media and please do comment, like, share all those beautiful things and press that beautiful subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more videos. Assalamu alaikum.